What is going on, guys? I am Jada Black here. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I want to talk about Angela Rye. I'm pretty sure y'all know who she is. She is a basically a political commentator, most notably on CNN. She is very left-leaning, to say the least. But be that as it may, she dated Common for about a year or so. And they broke up. And now each are seeing other people. What was very interesting is that Angela Rye is making comments about how Common didn't want to have kids with her. And I'm saying her because I I don't think it's just him not wanting to have kids. I just think he didn't want to have kids with her. And she spoke about it on her podcast. And she made some comments. But I I just want to say this first. Um, Common has never really been the same ever since Erica Badu broke up with him. You know, I have made a video about that a couple years ago. You know, how he admitted how he was just enthralled with her. You know, he got caught up. You know, you know, Erica don't love these dudes, man. <laughs> you know, she get with them and then she just toss them to the wayside. You know, um, the ones that she do care about, she ends up, you know, having young ones with them you know and all of them are rappers you know she has a thing for rappers or maybe did you know and ever since then common has never really been the same he has never really been the same guy when it comes when it comes to relationships um but he has tried to date people publicly um now he's being linked to tiffany haddish and he was with angela rye and that didn't work out. So now she's speaking out about how he didn't want kids. What I want to know, too, because, you know, Angela Rye is now dating somebody. And she's very public with it. That there was a picture of her with the dude in the pool. Like, she's really trying to push this relationship publicly, right? The only reason I think she's gonna she's making these comments is because I think she wants to now settle down. You know, she's been single for so long. And again, you know, around this time of the year, you know, women are thinking, you know, women don't want to be single around this time of the year. But trust and believe by the spring, summertime, I think Angela Rye is going to be single again. I just think that she's in love now because this is cuffing season. So, of course, you know, she's going to be with somebody. She's going to have thoughts about having a family, you know, because that's now. About three or four months from now, let's see if she's still in that same direction. Because I think that's going to change. You know, women are very reflective around this time of the year. They want somebody. They don't want to be alone. You know, it's New Year's coming up. They want to be a, be with somebody, even if it's only temporary. And for her to bring this information forward, either she's still bitter about how things ended or she... You know, has been she has talked to the person she's seeing now about having kids. But of course, the guy probably telling her what she wants to hear because that's what dudes do. Okay, it's called game. Okay. (laughs) Now, if she wants to settle down and have a family, I mean, that's what she chooses to do. That's her choice, you know. But it's interesting how you have certain people who will bring information like this to the forefront. I'm pretty sure Common didn't want people to know that, but it also shows that he didn't see anything with her long term. He didn't see any long term value in being with her because according to her, let's check out some of these comments she made. She said, we broke up. We were together for about a year this time and we broke up. I think it was September-ish, maybe because we just wanted different things. This was right after a time when I realized that I was going to take the second godson, the nine-year-old, more often. I had told him about it the day before, and we had been talking probably for two months about let's see where things go because I'm leaning towards I want kids. And he was leaning towards I don't know. I think when somebody tells you that they don't know, they really don't want that. They just don't want to hurt you. And as so and so for me, I'm clear. I'm getting clarity about what I want for myself. And she said that during 
leave her podcast. That is because Angela Common didn't see you as anybody long term. I don't think you meshed with Common. You know, I don't I don't think Angela meshed with Common. I think Common liked being with her. I think he may have find her attractive and, and wanted to date her to see where things go. But Common is a bachelor. He's not looking for anything long term. You know, even as he's gotten older, he still has not looked for anything, you know, long term serious. You know, a lot of guys who, you know, are, you know, successful, they're not quick to settle down. They, they don't feel the need to settle down. They could wait till they're in their 50s, you know, to settle down. They're not really quick to settle down now. You know, they can wait as long as they want. And I think Angela was trying to get that commitment from Common. And it didn't happen. This is why you're seeing her be more public with her new relationship. Because I think she's still kind of bitter about how things end. Even though they, they say that everything ended, you know, amicably. Uh, I think she still is in love with Common. But I think Common has moved on. Uh, he's dating Tiffany Haddish. Now, I will say this too. Because, you know, Common isn't the best picker of women. Like, he dated... Um, Angela Badu, then he dated Serena Williams, and I think he, he may have been single, dated some people in the industry in there, then he got with Angela, now he's with Tiffany Haddish. I, I think that one of the reasons why Common is dating Tiffany Haddish, I think is because she's struggling when it comes to dating. I even made a video about why no guy wants to date Angela, or not Angela, wants to date um, Tiffany Haddish. You know, she's struggling dating wise. And I think that he sees an opportunity to sort of uplift her. But you can't uplift everybody. You can't. You have to let people um, get through things on their own. You know, Tiffany knows why she can't find the guy she wants, because like most females, she's trying to get the same men that they're getting. They're chasing the 15 to 20 percent out of percentile of men. And I'm not just talking about financially. I'm talking about everything. They want a guy who's basically a perfect 10. You know, it's a little hood with a college degree. You know, they, they, a lot of these women are chasing the same men and they they, they oversaturate uh, uh, just certain choose, let's say dating market because you do have a lot of single women now, but you have a lot of single women who are chasing behind the same type of guys. And Common sees himself as somebody who uh could sort of be that person for tiffany and uplift her um but i don't think that's going to end well either um, because you know tiffany's somebody who is not the type of person that most of these guys will find attractive or personality attractive they may find her attractive but they don't find her personality attractive she might be a freak who knows you know but again this continues the trend of the type of women that common tends to choose women who are either career oriented in the industry like it's rare to see him deal with women who are not in the industry you know um so it's almost like a comfort zone and i think that he is not the best chooser of women now this whole thing with tiffany had his work out for him but he's again he's not looking for anything long term he's not looking for marriage he's not looking for you know settling down and having a family angela rye found that out and angela rye wanted to go because she felt like the guy was wasting her time. And I tell y'all, man, if you feel like you're in a situation with somebody who uh, is wasting your time, then leave. You know, instead of trying to make it work and then you done been with the person for years and then you've gotten nowhere and now you're angry at the world because you chose to be with somebody who just wasn't all in. You know, Common wasn't all in on Angela Rye because he did not see her as wife material or mother material, mother of, you know, of his seeds uh, material. And that's one thing she's not going to say. That's one thing he's not going to say. You know, guys like Common, for the most part, they'll get with a chick. OK, they'll date her. But if he's not leaning towards I want to have a family with you, you know, early in the relationship, then it's never going to happen. You know, if you are already in a relationship with somebody, you know, especially for a year and you you haven't had those talks about being with each other long term, I don't think it's ever going to happen. I don't think it's ever going to happen. Okay. 
Now, Angela Rye continued. She says, the thing that I would say is he's more established in his career and we have a little bit of an age difference. And he has a fully grown, wonderful daughter I love so much in law school. So not wanting to start over is a thing like, no, I'm good. I remember having the conversation the other day after we talked about my godson. And he said, you know, I don't know if I want to have kids and i said i don't know what else there is to talk about so i think it was an amicable parting of ways but very clear about the fact that we are not aligned in those interests i think we'll always be friends you know it's very interesting that she brought up the you know the age difference because in certain situations, right, you will have women that will that will date an older guy because he wants, you know, because he is established and because they believe in their minds that he's ready to settle down. And it could be an excuse because Common is only seven years older than her. So it's not like that big of an age difference. But. From my understanding, there are women who pursue older men um, because they are more established and they are ready to settle down, quote unquote. But she's using age as an out. She's using the fact that he already has an adult daughter as an out. Um, but I thought that older men were the ones to date, were the ones who are ready to settle down, which I think is not very true. You have a lot of bachelors who are over the age of 40 and even 50 who are not looking to settle down at all. And I think Angela Rye found that out.